What's up everyone, this is Super Super Marcel, and welcome back. Back? I swear, I do that every single time I start a new series. Welcome to, not back, right? But welcome to House of Ashes by the Dark Pictures Anthology. And it's something that we are very familiar with, or at least I am. If you're new here, hi, welcome, take a seat. Um, but this is the third uh, part, the third version, the third episode? I don't know, what do, what do you call these? I don't know, but the third one of the Dark Pictures. Of course, we've played Man of Medane and um, <laughs> Little Hope. Uh, and both of which, I story-wise, I enjoyed. But, you know, um, uh, uh, Man of Medane, you know, kind kind of felt like anticlimactic with the lack of monsters and little hope uh while better had some unfortunate glitches on launch which t kind of tuned down my feelings to the game but generally story-wise i thought uh, little hope was great and now we here we are with house of ashes um now it seems that this time there could definitely be very well be a monster this time which if there is hell yeah we actually have an actual threat this time instead of like it being illusions or the people you're with never existing but this time seeing as how it happened two times in a row i'm going to be very precautious the third time around i'm going to be an open-minded right i'm going to make sure if there's even a hint of something supernatural that it's not quite right i'm gonna i don't know i just don't want to get fooled a second time i didn't really get fooled the first time right but we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. I'm gonna be very cautious of uh, what I I do with my ch choices, seeing as how the second game, my choices led me uh, to get two people got killed, and Man of Medain, yeah, had one person dead, but that was only because I failed a quick time event. So technically, if I didn't fail that, they all would have lived. But whatever. But anyways, here we are with House of Ashes. It's supposedly, from what I remember from the trailers. This one's going to be about a couple soldiers that go to a desert and they've encountered something freaky. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I'm going to play alone because I don't have anyone to really play this with. But let's do this. All right. Oh, look at that. Some freaky Egyptian temple stuff. This is going to be cool. Let's do this. Survival is expected. Your skills will be tested. Death is inev inevitable. I'm sorry, since when are we doing a difficulty setting? Uh, forgiving, I guess. Cause I, I just, I, I just want to go in with the... I don't know whether or not these will be new. Um, the, d d d the difficulties will cha make a different story. But we're just going to go with the, the, the first one. Because, you know, I, I don't... I want at least one game where we get them all out alive you know yeah i got the mood set up the lights are off i got a pepsi here to drink it like it's like as if i'm drinking like dark black evil liquid or something let's do this scary times it's october baby i had to click that's what i needed to do all right okay man yeah, so like I said, I really hope, I'm really hoping, like, Ma uh, Little Hope was better than Madame Dane. That's what I thought. I'm hoping this one applies to the same, and that this one is better than both the other games. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Horsey, ho hosey, hosey, 8-7. Every choice has a consequence. We've already established that two games in, but thank you. Some save students save lives. Others. Is he gonna die? Is the girl gonna lead to death? Choose wisely. I was really expecting the crow to die. <laughs> okay. So no little. All right. So already this is different than the other versions. Or is it? Probably not. This might be our intro that sets it up. Right, so he's dead. <laughs> okay, so we're dealing with the predator. I can't 
2231 BC. Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Barato, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. Oh, man, I hope the darkness You're doesn't... in luck, Gutian. ...mess up luck? the... Recordings. No. No luck for these dogs. I might turn up the brightness once this is done. Yeah. We should leave this place. Just for the recording, the king, though. His madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, mm -hmm. Captain. Egyptian history is definitely interesting. I don't know a lot about it except for just pyramids and gods and stuff, but I don't know, there's a obviously there's a lot of the moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this whole not famous enough for Look at my shotgun shell beard? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? <laughs> there are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. I'm very certain Starting they wouldn't be speaking English, one. but... Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Uh, by a, uh, should we keep her alive? My king, would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 okay. We're doing this now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Throw your spear. Oh, wait, I... <laughs> All right. I'm Hepatitis with that spear throwing skills. Hepatitis is the guy with the spear, right? <laughs> Damn, this is full on, yeah. I was just about to say that they got, the way he said, and what about the below? He sounds like he was like, I was trying to make sure of something. <gasps> like as if he was ordering pizza. Did you get the olives? What about the pipettes? Oh, we beheaded this woman. Not sure that was really necessary. <laughs> I thought he was gonna throw the spear at him for a second there. <laughs> now your turn! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Is this one? That was the guy who didn't die or anything, right? That was really easy. <laughs> Nicely 
done. <laughs> I love that. He, he literally, not even a second, and he already did the whole grab the guard trick. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Get in there. Oh. It's a beautiful looking sun. Ah, oh, my eyes! Ah! Oh! What is it with these guys in the weird shaped looking beards? Man. Yeah. Anyways. Well, okay, so. This is compl I do not know what's going on, but I guess they're in war or something. From this other Egyptian dudes? I don't know. Is he gonna like turn into the monster and go chase us for the rest of the game? Sun for whatever stupid reason. <laughs> Gods give me strength. Oh, Shotgun Beard's dead. <laughs> what happened to him? Did he get killed by the monster? We're <laughs> still fighting! Oh, no, the monster. He builds this temple to call for forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. He too will be locked up. Even Russian my daughter's country. death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Oh, he's the dude from way earlier who almost killed him. Right, will become okay. ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. I've got him! So already we're off to a good start. There, there definitely is a monster in this world. Some kind of freaky Egyptian monster god. Vampire king thing. I don't know what it is, but it's interesting. Maybe it's like Egyptian zombies. Who knows? But there's definitely a monster this time, and I'm glad that we actually have an actual proper threat this time. Rather than just, oh no, I'm seeing stuff, and that thing that I'm seeing from my vision that only I can see is killing us. Help me with this. 
Okay, yeah, we're, we're off to a good start. So far, no glitches. Uh, there's, a, there's a definite monster. This is a very long intro, by the way. Follow me. There is a way out through the tomb. Tomb? The catacombs. Yes. I don't remember what from the cat. A lot the from the catacombs. Done. Isn't the catacombs a French thing? Egyptian Wendigos. Nah, there's no way they're doing Wendigos twice. It's gotta be something else. Here we go, the heartbeat thing. stuff are you serious all right what if we just run for it i bet it's gonna be like something like a rat or something yeah i knew it <laughs> just a rat and then boo jump scare oh no? all this death for nothing they died in vain for a mad king. Oh no, no, I don't like this. I'm di okay. No, this is where I get jump scared. <laughs> oh, fuck. Why did that scare me? All right. Okay. Finally, we can move. I'm just gonna quickly just do this. Increase the brightness just a little. Only for the recording though. So yeah, you guys can see though. Alright. What's my name again? I completely forgot. I'm Kulum. No, I'm Balafu. <laughs> Balafu and he's Kulum. Kyrum. Kulum? I don't know. Names. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, this is going to be our version of the books. Oh, yeah, it is. Right. So someone walk, crawls himself out here. It looked like him. So, I don't know, maybe something happens and we think he's dead, but he's not actually dead and crawls out of, of something. I don't know. And if I remember correctly, the catacombs, the way the catacombs work, it's literally just an underground, a huge underground maze with a whole lot of bodies and it's creepy and stuff. But I would have sworn that's a French thing, right? Another one? Or... No, we already saw this one. Okay. Where do we go? Why? It's just a circle. Where, where, where is he going? <laughs> He's just going around in a circle too. Look at this. Is it like mummies? Like we proper mummies? By our own actions. Why did your king grade the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold. For glory. For greed. For greed. Right. This way? Let's have a look. Okay. So here. Help me with this. I'm, I really suck at entertaining people. <laughs> I really do. God damn it. I just have to hope that I'm not too obnoxious, that I'm not funny. But at the same time, I gotta keep talking. <laughs> not bore you out. Yeah. That's the statue we've seen. Is that you literally first. what the monsters look like? They're just winged dudes? You first. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. Mark my How words, we get will out have here no monkey skulls. We help each other. The enemy of my enemy. 
Is my friend. friend. We helped each other. Yes, we will both get out of here alive, even though we're not. This is not the actual characters. Although it would be interesting if, for once, we did one of these and it is just like not modern dudes. What was that? Might have been more interesting to try and do this How many ways through the perspective of these type of people, the ancient Egyptians. We're not alone down here. Instead of like, you know, oh, look at me, I'm bloody Michael Bay soldiers. <laughs> Not Michael Bay soldiers, then explosions would be everywhere, but... Yeah. Oh, there's gotta be some kind of secrets around the, here somewhere. Look! Oh my god, look! It's the statue from Gorillaz! Oh! <laughs> Alright. Yeah. What was that song called? Like, um... I don't remember, there was a song from what, there was a, a gorilla song, a music video that had that type of statue or something everywhere, I don't remember. Or was it even a gorilla's thing? Probably not. What was it? I remember seeing that statue somewhere before. Was it like, um, what was that movie? What's the movie with the bloody possessed zombie girl that has the spinning head? It's from that, I think. I've definitely seen that statue somewhere. It's not from Egyptian. It might have originated from Egyptian. I don't know. Okay, let's go this way then. Over here. We go through the very obvious door. <laughs> no, I'm putting my cup down. No, we're good. We're good. We're safe. No, we're not good. We're definitely not good. What is that? Let's run. Can I see a glimpse? Here we go. This is awesome. Let's do this. It's coming! I know. I've got the end! Long fingernail dude is coming! There's no escape. We must fight hope. him with our Let's swords. Stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Fight, betray. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna be by your side, dude. Yes. Get him with the fire. Get him with the fire. Ah, you're dead. Think they might got this? I'm not sure how that works with the Phoenix Hulk Person roll. My hell of a good fire though. Wait, what about the other dude? Is he just dead for good? God, you're like the Chupacabra! Ah! Oh, there's more! <laughs> you know what ah! the, 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 it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me a lot. Like the, um, that monster from uh, Scooby-Doo. Oh, we've seen this before. Oh, there's an intro. It's pretty cool. Though. Yeah, alright, so already we're off to a very good start. Yeah, with an actual monster going around. Freaky long fingernails. And they do their little creepy like door opens. Oh, that's good. I know. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like it's interesting, right? Uh, looking at the scenarios of all the games. I do like how they're taking different settings uh, for each story so far. You know, so you had Madame Medina as well, like in the middle of the ocean, and you had Our Little Hope, 
in a creepy witch town. And now we got this one. It's like a desert Egyptian. And I, I, I really like that diversity. I'm gonna make a prediction right now for the next game. It's wild, I have no proof, but I'm gonna take a wild assumption. Ooh, a jungle one would be that bad actually. Imagine that. A horror game. Is it the kind of like Predator, but not? No. Like a jungle, like what like, I don't know, a plane crashed into the jungle and they have to get out of the jungle. And it's like dinosaurs or something, I don't know. <laughs> I think it would be cool. Right. Do you know Creator? I definitely think the Creator is more than just a guy that is There's evidence from the past game, a uh, little hope, that suggests to me that he is. Grim Reaper. I think that'll be interesting. If it is true that he's a Grim Reaper guy. And the test story of the dead. Right, that's all.